Here we are at uh, Lepakshi temple. When I was a child, in my grandparents' home, this was a very important temple because this was built during the Vijayanagar Empire, to which uh, uh, they happened to be our forefathers. And uh, my great-grandfather built some chal tree close by fifty years ago. I have come here, it was a grand temple. Uh, with lots of people, daily pujas. Today, uh, it's in abject state of neglect. Well, it's become an archaeological monument. It's only for tourists. Temple is not a place of propaganda. Temple is a place of power which should draw people. Once you take away that power, there are no people, there are only stragglers, tourists, uh, people who want some privacy. <laughs> Young boys and girls hanging around uh, because uh, looking for privacy, hiding in the temple. This is what it's become, it's most unfortunate. This will be the fate of most temples in the country, in South India particularly, if we don't regenerate them, if you don't make them into living powerful spaces. They will not be valued just for the stonework. It is the power of consecration which makes them what they are. It is time, it is definitely time that uninvolved government employees should not be managing the temple. Devotees for whom their heart beats, for the deity, they should manage the temple. It's time to do this. Southern Indian temples particularly are so grand. If you look at this work, tremendous amount of work, uh, done a few hundred years ago and here, we have brought it to this state of just uh, preserving it, not keeping it alive. This is a place where uh, Jatayu's uh, uh, wing is supposed to have fallen, as per the legend. So, there is uh, Jatayu's image upon the rock. These fantastic rocks is the uh, natural feature of this part of the land. This is called Israel Sima, where uh, incredible rock structures all over the place. I have so enjoyed this in my childhood. Nice to be back here. There's a grand uh, temple of Virabhadra Swami. In my childhood, I've come here a few times. At one time, Veerabhadra Swami was our family deity, and it was a powerful temple which drew thousands of people. Today, this level of neglect and things being handled by the physical structure being maintained by ASI, which is reasonably okay, and the rest maintained by the endowment ministry or department. It's painful to see that just fifty years ago, what was a powerful and beautiful temple, today is just uh, uh, catering to tourist curiosity. Powerfully consecrated temples like the Nagalinga has come to an abject state of neglect. Government can manage museums, please don't try to manage temples, it's time, devotees manage temples. <laughs>